Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. And you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> the best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Bitch, the cold leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But the TS makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tommy's R. Kelly down there to the people's telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Light gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. Boy, oh, I don't care whatever happens to Candace, but bless her heart. The premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the fuck along, because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black motherfuckers. Because you black motherfuckers don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round the way girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender or their sexual preferences. I what? just want to know where you found this wig at. Don't you do this to me. We're both sitting up here looking like women with shortcuts, so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off. We also have Mo, the engineer, who gives the straight perspective. News time. What the H-E-L-L? This is an LBGTQ show that's curated and created by us for you. I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not going to disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we're going to read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. Yeah. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all all right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. It's morning and we slept the night away. It's Maddie in the morning, 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 Maddie in the morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. Wait a minute, I can't really see much of nothing. I'm I feel that I'm in the forest of the valley and the tree. I'm just surrounded by such beautiful. How could the world feel with such wonderful things be so bad? Don't you give in? What am I giving? Boys and Ivy. Right? Boys and Ivy. <laughs> Boys and Ivy. <laughs>
listen to me, y'all. I want to let y'all know. I had a very good birthday. I'm surrounded by so many flowers, floral arrangements, honey, roses, you know, girl, just the thing. The things that is just giving me, you know, yes, surrounded by growth. That's right. So many times we said it was forever. That's it. Said I love it always be true. Something in my hole I always knew. I'd be lying without you. On my own. Once again. One more time. By myself. No one said it was easy. And I'm here. Hey, y'all, it was my birthday yesterday. <laughs> it was my birthday yesterday. I had a really good, it's still my motherfucking birthday. That's why I got, uh, thank you for the Costa Migos. Y'all that brought the Costa Migos. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'll put it on live, but I apologize. You got to take that call. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Where were we? You were in the middle looking for another job. <laughs> that's what we was doing. So I'm. A, that's why you ain't getting but a little bit of this. This uh, Casamigos. Oh, that's how you do it. That's you ain't getting but a little bit of it. <laughs> just a just a dab. Because <laughs> you're gonna be on a slab in a heartbeat. <laughs> All right, y'all. So. I just want to talk to y'all about the, the time I had. Baby, we had a time yesterday. Yeah, it was. Honey, I, listen, I was able to smoke my little my little pen and eat and eat my uh, eat my food. Miss Mary was not judging me. And I was telling her mama, lick, listen, don't do me. Do your hair. <laughs> you know, Legra came through for a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, she came through for a real nigga. And that's just how that's just what happened. And I just, I just thank her for what she did for me for yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just to hold me through the show, cause this a lie. <laughs> I need a, uh, you know, you gonna have to get some more ice, maybe. I think. Hold on, I gave you too much. You ain't again, but a little bit. That's how you feel. Mm hmm. Over that moonlight on me. I, that's not what I was doing. Those are that moonlight on me. You brought that white bitch to my bosom. You don't know you invited us. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you weren't supposed to let that bitch stay. <laughs> you, you brought that white bitch to my bus. The beautiful floral arrangements and flowers and things that I had received on my birthday was amazing. The gifts. Um, Tammy Everlasting came through there, honey. We took we took one million and one pictures, photographs. Because that's what Tammy do. She that's all Tammy gonna do. She gonna take a motherfucking picture. Here, most loud on me, get this. Get your red convertible. Red convertible. <laughs> well, you got that bought vodka pants on. Yeah. Yes. That mean that dick drunk, honey. That's not what that means. It's exactly what that That's means. That's not what that means. It's flopping every motherfucker. No, it's well. not. Why are you I told lying you the to next people? time you came in here, I was going to the HR room. <laughs> Don't tell people that. Oh, that it's lie. good. I want y'all to know that today's show is sponsored by. Skin potions. Mo yep. pull the skin potions out. Let the people know. As you guys understand, that skin potion is skin potion. That is S K I N P 
P-O-T-I-O-N. Skin Potion is handcrafted with organic and all natural ingredients that deeply moisturize and illuminate the skin. Their newest fragrance that is coming out is called the Veil of Venus. The Veil of Venus. You can get your, it's currently available for pre-order. The Veil of Venus is currently available for pre-order. And you can follow Skin Potion on Instagram at Skin Potion US. That's S-K-I-N-P-O-T-I-O-N-U-S. And shop their website at www.shopskinpotion.com. Once again, that's www.shopskinpotion.com to pre-order the new scent that's coming out. It's the Veil of Venus. We smelt it too. It smells real good. Baby, listen, I, it smells so good. I got it over there hidden. <laughs> Why you hiding it? Uh uh. Why you hiding it? No, ma'am. <laughs> no, they were. Will... You not sharing? You're not not even, not even with you, Mo. You're not gonna share with me, man. Mm-hmm. No. Well, I don't like smelling like women anyway. It, listen, it smells so. It has a good smell. I'm telling you, as a man and as a as a handsome dark man. It's good to smell like this because you walk through all the women. So you, so you don't mind your man smelling like, smelling like uh, a woman. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really worried about it because I don't have no man. <laughs> I'm just not saying. I'm not I don't have not. no man, and don't you speak those those evil curses on me. <laughs> I have been blessed on my journey to be problem free. <laughs> really, <laughs> problem free. <laughs> you niggas come with problems. I don't want any of that in my not not in my new so not in my new uh, uh, solar return around the earth. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't want none of that. All right. You know why they call it? Uh, oh therapy. shit! We ain't on Instagram on you Facebook. So let's come on Facebook and we got to do it all again, honey. You know why they call it Veil of Venus? Why is it called the Veil of Venus, Mo? Trap. Well, I mean, I have one of those. Uh, <laughs> it's just trapped backwards, though. <laughs> uh, Adriana, you said everything is out of stock at Skin Post. This is where you'll be able to pre-order. You'll be able to pre-order. Again, this show is sponsored by www.skinpotion.com. The newest fragrance that is out that was is hitting the market is called the Veil of Venus. You can pre-order the Veil of of Venus now, the Veil of Venus. Veil of Venus. You can pre-order this. Okay. Triple butter body butter. Triple butter body butter. Triple, triple, triple buddy body butter. The Veil of <laughs> Venus is available for pre-order. 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 All right. So we had such a good time for my birthday. Right. I mean, it was an amazing time. I was surrounded by close friends and family. We had a very good time. Um, But there was someone in particular. Let me move my flower to the side. I just got such beautiful. Holly brought me. Holly brought me these beautiful flowers right here. I'm going to post pictures of them. Jameson brought me these beautiful roses. Chi Chi brought me these beautiful roses. This beautiful thing right here. You know, it's just floral arrangements everywhere, honey. I was like, hey, I ain't going nowhere now. Watch this floral <laughs> arrangement. I don't need no floral arrangements, honey. <laughs> don't be arranging my no florals. You're giving that, giving that perception, honey. Okay. Um, I want to talk about there was a request that I had made. It was a very, very, very special request that I made. If you guys remembered, before I left to go um, on my birthday thing, I screamed out that I wanted, it was the day, it was Tony Braxton. I wanted Tony Braxton to be sung. If I can't have nothing else for my birthday, I need Tony Braxton to sing for me. Tony motherfucking Braxton. (laughs) We were supposed to be listening to all Tony Braxton music because it was my birthday and she a Libra. 
We were supposed to be listening to every every and all things Tony, Tony Braxton. <laughs> and y'all hoes, don't be listening to the things that I want. Y'all think I want money. I wanted Tony Braxton. So you don't want money? I want money. <laughs> but bitch, it's one true, true to the game person that understood that I wanted Tony Braxton. And I guarantee they went out there and called Tony. Tony sent me this video personally. Hey. <laughs> Love. Oh, my, 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 baby face. Don't leave me in all this pain. Don't leave me out in the rain. Come back. Bring back to smile, come and take these tears away. I need your arms to hold me now. The knives are so ungun. Bring back those nights when I held you beside me. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo these hurt you cause when you're out and walk down my life. Unwind these tears that cry so many, many nights. Unbreak my heart, my heart. <laughs> I just have to say, I was so amazed to get that video from Tony Braxton herself. <laughs> Tony Braxton, I just want to let you know that you are an amazing club singer. I, it, I, I just, can we do it one more time? Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. one more time. Here we go. Love. Oh, my, my, baby face. Don't leave me in all this pain. Don't leave me out in the rain. Come back. Bring back to smile, come and take these tears away. I need your arms to hold me now. The knives are so ungun. Bring back those nights when I held you beside me. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo these hurt you cause when you're out, out, out and walk down my life. Unwind these tears that cry so many, many nights. Unbreak my heart, my heart. <laughs> See, now that's the kind of birthday gift I wanted to get <laughs> from Tony Braxton herself. <laughs> <laughs> it was Tony Braxton herself that sent me that. I was like, thank you, Tony Braxton. That, that, that is Braxton. B-R-A-K-E-S-T-O-N. Tony Braxton. <laughs> oh, 
my god. I do love that song. Yes, bro. <laughs> Heart break my heart. Say you love me again. I knew this hurt your cause when you walked out the door and walked out of my life. Under I these deep, I cry so many nights. Heart break my heart. Don't leave me here in all this pain. Don't leave me out in the rain. Bring back the night when I felt you beside me. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. I knew this hurt to cause when you walked out the door and walked out. Many nights, I'd break my heart, oh darling. I'd break my heart, oh baby. Without you, I just can't go. <laughs> well, you be right there with me. With I the, do. You I be do. right there with me with the shit. <laughs> you be right there with me with the shit. So, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that y'all get y'all uh, tickets uh, for the Maddie in the Morning show that's going to be loud, live, and always and forever in color. Honey, at the City Winery, December the 13th at 8 o'clock p.m. The doors open at 6.30. Showtime is at 8 p.m. Visit www.citywinery.com to get your tickets. Listen, we have already sold, okay? Mm -hmm. The front row is gone. Yep. I just want to let you know that the front row is gone. So come on in while you can get the second row now. I need y'all to come on in because we're going to give all of this. It's going to be a lot of foolery and, and tall foolery and sh shenanigans and foolishness <laughs> going on at the motherfucking city winery. <laughs> y'all don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss this. Don't meet us there, bitch. Beat us there. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Don't play, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Get your tickets for the city winery, honey, because it's going to be the Maddie in the morning show at 8 o'clock p.m. Because <laughs> usually it's any time that we get ready to do what we get ready to motherfucking do. Um, created by Trent said there's only a few meet and greet add-ons left. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, we did have limited meet and greet. We did have limited meet and greet because we're going to definitely we, 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 gonna, we give them the show the thing. Uh... You know, so come on, come on with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Better Don't motherfucking play with it. Go get it. You say y'all say come to Chicago. We're gonna see how y'all do in Atlanta. You know, we're gonna see what y'all do in Atlanta. We're gonna hit that. It's morning. And we slept the night away. Ooh, you gotta know that it happened. And now we can't turn back these hands of time. Oh, no, we can't. Yes, we've stolen these moments. And we forgot to face one simple fact. We both belong oh. to someone else. 
as we slept the night away as we lay <laughs> I'm telling y'all, we're gonna have a good ass fucking time over there acting crazy doing the thing. Yeah. You know, it's gonna be in, it's gonna be December the 13th. And we got to see what y'all give so I can make sure I'm gonna go somewhere else now. All right. So I want to talk to y'all about my birthday yesterday. We had a really good time. Craig was so messy, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Listen, I want y'all to know that Craig was so messy. That it was ridiculous that I had to, I had to, I couldn't let that live stay up. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I could not let that live stay up. I could not do it. So you deleted that live. I let the live go. <laughs> Cause I was like, Craig, why did you come over here and do this? <laughs> Craig was so messy and said that those girls, hey Anthony Brown, what's up, babe? What's going on? The exotic oil masters, honey. I got my oil. That's oil in my lamp. Believe you me, I'm going to rub down in it. <laughs> Baby, I just, I have, I've opened the box, but I haven't did my situations yet because I've been on, I've been busy. But let me just tell y'all how Craig was so messy. I could not let that video stay up. Craig was on that fucking thing telling those people that, he, that Adina Howard <laughs> works at, <laughs> if it, in FedEx, in Rochester, New York. I was like, girl. And I was in the background crying, laughing so hard. <laughs> you, I, I was not going to allow that to happen. And no, they was, they was not going to do that to me. Because they already... Uh, yes, Chi Chi was there yesterday. Because Chi Chi was reading Tammy by taking all the fucking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Chi Chi was like, not damn, Tammy. <laughs> girl. Now, damn, Tammy, we oh, not doing a whole motherfucking photo shoot spread out here, girl, for your OnlyFans, girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, goodness. bitch. So we hollered and screamed. I mean, screamed and hollered yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me tell you. I'm, I, there are times that I like extravagant birthdays, and then there are times that I'm all right with, 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 with intimate. intimate birthdays. This, is, this, is, this was both extravagant and intimate at the same time. Like, Cause Legra went. Legra flew home from Mexico early because she was in Mexico. She put that again. We ate at Little Ali's uh, Steakhouse yesterday. What did you have? Uh, I had. Um, uh, hold on, I'm seeing a refund from somewhere. I had the bone in. Uh, I had the bone in. Uh. I had the bone in ribeye. Oh, okay. No, excuse me. I had the bone in filet. I'm going to tell y'all something. If you haven't had little alleys, if you're in Atlanta, you haven't had little alleys. They didn't pay me for this. So I'm letting you know it was so good to me. If you haven't had little, little alley steakhouse, it is, it's, it's kind of pricey. But it, is, it, gave, it gave what it needs to have been given. No, the food was good. Very good. And Mo paid for his own. Did you, Mo? Oh no, you didn't. Legra handled that. Let me yeah. call Legra. I need to. I need to call Legra. Legra paid for everybody. Yeah, Legra handled it. I told y'all that Legra is. Listen, Legra paid for everybody. I told y'all Legra is the rich bitch. <laughs> I'm just the Duchess of Corn. <laughs> but Miss Legra is the rich bitch out of all. Just a rich. It's a very, very rich bitch. And so you know, she. I told Craig when we were sitting. By, I said, Craig, you know, Legra got more, more money than me, and you both combined. Legra is the true rich bitch in the situation. Be ye not. Dismayed. Yes. I want to be a baller, a shot caller, 20 inch blaze on an Impala. Come on, Larry. Let me see. Is she, is she up? I'm just going to call and see. You know, we not that young, so we not. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Mo. We not that young. <laughs> and see, Lager got it all. I, I, but, but please believe I'm a zero behind. <laughs> Legra got it all, but please believe I'm a zero behind, bitch. Okay? I want to let y'all know that Legra got it all, but I'm a zero right behind her. A zero behind her. Legra still sleep. Yeah, she, she, she may be laying down. But I just want to let it be known that Legra got it all, and I'm a zero behind her. Maybe a zero and a half, but I'm right down behind her. Shit. I had such a great time. Uh, my friends and family came. And uh, we had a very good time. 
Uh, we 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 celebrated all night, Miss Mary. I, I had got on my thing and prophesied all types of shit was going on, girl. I was, I had I had, but I was up in my drinking pad. I've been drinking watermelon, nah nah. It was a nah nah for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nah nah for me, bitch. <laughs> you know, I was over there smoking my little uh smoking my little thing, you know, saying nah, how in the hell I done did this. What happened? Oh my God! I don't know how to work this computer. What? what oh, I'm not seeing him up here to the top. I don't want to do that. I want to? Oh, okay. Oh, it. I know how to. Oh shit! I know how to do it. You got it? Yeah. Do it? I'm trying to put Craig. Give Craig his link. Is he in? He said he was packing. He had to go to the store. Yeah. Oh, that's Lego. Hold on, Lego, because you know I'm on this live video, girl. Good. I got to put you on the speaker. Hey, hold on, I gotta put you on the speaker, Legra. Hold on, the SRS box. Hello, <laughs> hello. Hey. Yes, Legra. We. I just wanted to call you and let you know how good of a time I had for my birthday. I wanted to let you know, Legra. Legra put that together with less than eight hours. <laughs> she had let. We can let your birthday go by and we don't turn up. Yeah, that. I came back from Mexico early because I was in Mexico. Uh huh. I came back early. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a really good time. You didn't let us tear your house down to the ground. It was good. We respect. We 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 respected that we was in a rich bitch's mansion, and yeah. we was like, "Hold on now." So we ain't want to do all of that. But like I told the children, Larry got all the money, but I'm definitely a zero behind, bitch. Don't you play no games with it. <laughs> I'm definitely a zero behind, or maybe a zero and a half, but I'm behind you. <laughs> Don't get it? I'm a zero behind, baby. I'm a zero behind. We already know what we already know what Maddie be giving. Anyway. She listen. I listen. I'm a zero <laughs> behind. And how we had such a really good time. We had a really, really good time. And let me tell y'all something. See, I didn't know that Lego can handle no deviled eggs the way she handled deviled eggs. See, I didn't even get a chance to taste none of the deviled eggs. <laughs> Mo, you shouldn't have had any. That's glad you didn't. What, why, what are you trying to say, Maddie? What you trying to imply? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Dairy and deviled oh, eggs. No. <laughs> Oh, Legger, Larry, like Legger, you did your thing. Now I will right. tell you, Miss Mary took those those wings that you had over there. And took them home. She brought them wings in here, and we done been fucking them with because she done put some kind of sauce on them bitches. We ended. I, didn't, I, didn't, I bought those. I bought those at um, um, WMB. I didn't cook the wings. Oh well, listen. Well, whatever you whatever whatever you sit with up, Miss Mary done already reconfigured right. that. And not only that, Miss Mary even said those deviled eggs were, were bomb. Baby, those deviled eggs was the one. Miss Mary said those deviled eggs. Were Baby, the those deviled eggs, Legra. Listen, I'm going to have to come over there and get a dozen. Of you. I'm going to send you a dozen <laughs> eggs. And, <laughs> my cholesterol going to be so motherfucking high. I'm going to have to lay down, bitch, on the bed. That might, but I'm it's, it'll be worth it all. I'm like, God, my cholesterol high while I'm eating the egg. God, my cholesterol so high. Yeah, going to let that happen. My I man, I ain't thinking about G. <laughs> They was gone. I'm not thinking about G. Because <laughs> that fat ass nigga gonna be right behind me. <laughs> that nigga fat ass gonna be running me down, gonna be running with a plate in his hand. I'm gonna be running. We both gonna lose weight at the same fucking time. We gonna be losing weight at the same time because his fat ass gonna be running behind me with a plate saying, run, big hoe. Run, big bitch, run. <laughs> While he running at the same time, we both gonna be burning calories. <laughs> Oh yeah, he bring his ass over here. Miss Mary cooks him whole. I'll be like, Mama, damn, Miss Mary be cooking him whole pans of corn, cornbread. <laughs> That's all he be wanting is cornbread. Baby, Miss Mary was bringing cooking, but but see, he gets his custom cook. I'm gonna tell you when. I, listen, 
He gets a custom cook. He gets a custom cook. Mo gets a custom cook. Mo gets his stuff custom cook, and G get his shit cause G's been, G think he was slick bringing in them sweet potatoes he brought over here the other day. Girl, he brought sweet potatoes over here later the other day, and when he, when the sweet potatoes came here, Miss Mary, as soon as they got here, Miss Mary washed them off and started cooking them. So I'm over there with my arms, I'm over there with my arms folded, like watching this, watching this coup go down. Like, oh these, oh these niggas trying to pull a mutiny on me, <laughs> and strongholds the captain. This thing I know, I hear the oven over there on bait. <laughs> and Miss Mary, Alexa, set a timer for set a cornbread time. I'm like, why? <laughs> why did you set the motherfucking cornbread timer? Ooh, but it was a good time. I had three pizza in a minute. Yes, yeah, Chi Chi came through. Now, we didn't know what was going on earlier, but Chi Chi had a little tool and then he got it right. And he came over there to the. Yeah, he so, did. He, he did. Like, he came straight for work yeah, around yeah. there, and then he he he, he did. He came to the house and was Ted wearing Tammy ass out, <laughs> 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 telling Tammy, "Girl, call someone with that camera phone, girl." Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy had a whole photo shoot out. Yes, she yeah, did. Yeah. Nuna, Nuna, you say Miss Mary fed you lovely. You say you still full shit. That's what Miss Mary do. I tell y'all all the time. If you ever meet Miss Miss Mary. Miss Mary, gonna she gonna cook. She, let me tell you, she two, just got some spaghetti upstairs. Yes, yeah, she did. Oof. Two things, Miss Mary. Two. That's, that's how she. That's how she communicate. Well, she can love me all day, I, and she do. <laughs> and she do. I mean, because sometimes I'll be fucking around, and she'll be like, "Oh, you gonna cook tonight?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." She gonna cook tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Girl, girl she did. Day. She had a good time, but she was so mad at at, at, at her phone. <laughs> Mo said she. Yeah, said, she, couldn't, she couldn't get it go live or something, but she got a picture. She got a picture. Yes. Listen, what is, G? If G out there watching. Nigga, you and Mo need to put some money together and get y'all mama a phone. Since she doing all this fucking fry making this and Craig motherfucking bald head ass. Since, 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 since she's doing all this fry making the saute, get put together. Y'all send two hundred and fifty dollars a piece, and I got the rest. So that's seven hundred and fifty dollars. I'll put the other what six. Up. Trying to get her a new, a new one. <laughs> what kind? Who that got a terabyte of the? <laughs> well, was a, a two terabyte because one thing Miss Mary gonna do is take pictures. Is, is she won't her pictures yep. and her scriptures. <laughs> Bitch, you don't listen. She she was. A, I I told. I I secretly slid over the leg last night. I said, Allegra, whatever you doing, br brush your hand out. If you got some lip gloss, put some lip gloss on. But if you don't, you see Miss Mary. Miss Mary was sitting at the table. She want her pictures. <laughs> And he was all right after that. Man, she, we all was right. we was good. I said, see, <laughs> we was good after that. We was good. She won't have fucking pictures. I'm gonna post them pictures too. Today I will be today I will be posting the pictures with, with Miss Mary in the picture. <laughs> she, I want my and listen. When I got home, boo, bring me my phone in here. Give me the pictures with my boots. I said, okay. <laughs> Uh, All right, she want her picture. Yeah, she and yeah, she, she I'm glad she had a good time. I'm glad everybody had a good time. You know how they went downstairs and reached down the whole kitchen and mopped the floors and cleaned my bathroom. You did. Girl, I done cleaned my whole house up already. Well, it went. It, well, you know, we ain't do too bad. Legger had the DJ in the house. Mm -hmm. She had a personal DJ. DJ. Personal DJ up there, DJ and Hunter. We had a good motherfucking time. But it all started when we got to that restaurant. Now I don't know if the manager of Little Al is of Little Alley's is watching this show, but just in case you were wondering, <laughs> you were gooped and bamboozled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you have to see it. You have to see the, the waitress when um, I, I told her I said, "Well, I'm going to get you a drink." She said, "Huh?" I said, "All of these," and I counted them off because Margita had already counted them off. I'll put all that on one bill. Uh, she, she asked me like three times. I was like, ma'am, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put all of them on one bill. All on one bill. Like, and when I send you this car, I just run it and get your tip and keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to let y'all know that little Ellen, we go we gooped and bamboozled you because there was no way as colored people that we was going to give y'all $7,500 to hold no spot. <laughs> but see, this was the kicker. This was the kicker. Now you know, I, I saw the bill for a large number of the tables, right? Madison, that was that that was like fifteen hundred dollars. If we had spent the whole table, we probably spent we probably spent. I'm gonna be nice and say twenty five hundred. I'm gonna say nice. We still would have had to pay seventy five hundred dollars. Nah. Still would have had to pay seventy five hundred dollars. Nah, because you had to guarantee that was the minimum that you had to spend to hold that many tables on a Sunday. I said that's crazy. It wasn't even packed, neither. Right, that's crazy. We probably spent about twenty five hundred dollars. Probably, and so. so we would have and I was like, nah. And so, you know, you know, the real nigga in me had said, Larry, this is what we finna do. Okay. We know Tammy going is not an on time God. She not. She was on time. She was, on time. She was definitely on time. on time. My daughter was on time. This <laughs> month, so, <laughs> so what happened was, you know, when Tammy rolled through, you know, mm -hmm. you know Tammy had to roll through, Holly had to roll through, mm -hmm. Sharice had to roll through, like everybody had to roll through. I guess I get some motherfucking FaceTime call. Where is you at? I'm gonna tell y'all something. Right. It ain't but right. it ain't but a few women that make me jump back, flip, and cockwheel. And Legger is one of those women. <laughs> Where you at, girl? Cause I'm not finna have these people. I'm like, girl, hold on now. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, Legra. Hold on. Look, we supposed to be here at six o'clock and this 
say at 5 30 tell everybody set the clock no we're not yeah. i'm not trying to call everybody and rearrange everybody's schedule and look i already did the shit in the last minute to rearrange everybody's schedule 30 minutes before we're supposed to be there most of us have already left the house get your butt in that car james to throw that makeup on her face and let's go but it was jameson it was jameson was late as usual <laughs> But it it was because he was getting me these beautiful roses. He had a beautiful. He got me some roses. He also got me some. Um, he also got me a Fendi bag. Like it was a lot of stuff that he had that he was working out for me, and I forgave him for being late. But let, but you know, for for this this time. But it was stuff that he was working out for me that um that I didn't know that was going on. Like everything was at the last minute, and it was at the last minute because I'm really I'm a birthday celebrating type person. But I'm usually, I, I usually like to work. I usually like working yeah. on my birthday. And, it, uh, you know, this is just one of those years that I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't um working on my birthday. That's okay. Look, you're working next week and the week after that. And, and, the, week after, after, and the week after, after and the week after. after. Anyway. Yeah. And so that, that's what we, that's what we talk about the nine live situation. So we'll talk about that at, at another day, but you know, Lego, I wanted to thank you so much. You know, all my friends came out, like all my people, well, you know, and it was thank you very much. Now, now, now next year we're going to be doing something. It ain't going to be yeah. the last minute. Well, it was it was at the last minute because, you know, we didn't know what, what, the, what I'm working on. Mm -hmm. We didn't know if production wanted us to be there a full time or one time. Or, so we didn't, you know. Yeah, we had to hold everything off because we were, our, your schedule was kind of in limbo. We had to block out um, some time for a big project that's coming up yeah. and we finally got the date. So it, it kind of made everything at the last minute. But it worked out the way it was supposed to. We had a good time. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We did. And I had a good time. And I thank you for that, Lagra. I thank you. I thank you tremendously for that because I had fun and, yeah. you know, I was able to laugh and key, you know. But that Craig came over there. It was so messy. I could not keep the live up. But I could not keep. He was so so messy, girl. Like I'm gonna go find that live, and I'm I'm probably gonna post it on my YouTube, honey. So the YouTube, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't but I didn't you know, keep that on Instagram. I just watched the TikTok when she doing that damn little thing. I must have missed that. I don't know where I was. Oh no, yeah, oh yeah. Girl, I don't know where you was, Lecker, but girl. Oh, you were outside. Girl, was Craig outside. had a. Was she out there with Tammy taking pictures? No, no, she was with her no, dog. I was not. No, I was she was not. with her dog. She was. With Girl, cause Lecker, cause uh, uh, Craig had on his boots giving Mary J. Blige <laughs> <laughs> But Baby, it was so messy that it was it was just and then messy. He started talking about his arch enemy. He started talking about everybody. I'm like, girl, go <laughs> on, Craig. <laughs> like, go somewhere with the foolishness, hoe. <laughs> Damn, I can't do nothing without you being somewhere being messy. <laughs> yes. Oh, Legra, I love you very much. Thank you so I much. Love you too, girl. girl, tune on, tune on here to the show. We about to we about to cut up for a few minutes and talk some trash, child. And then I'm gonna call oh. you. Um, you say, wait a minute, hold on. This is, I'm surprised Legra let let Master let. This was Legra house. That wasn't my house. That was Legra's yes. house. It's the mini chateau. <laughs> no, that house bigger than mine. That house big, bigger than mine. No, but it's not. No, it's not. It is bigger than mine. Like, that whole room was out. It was just different. Like, you know, it's different. It's, it's different. It's not bigger than yours. Square footage. Your house is bigger than mine. Girl, please. Anyway. And you got a basement. And you got a basement. You don't got no basement? Uh-uh. There's no basement. I could have sworn. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah. But girl. Wow. But girl. Now, my next house, Legger, it might be. I ain't even gonna sit oh, up. No. I ain't gonna sit up here and hold you. But that, but we not. I ain't doing that because we trying to. I'm trying to compare houses with you because that ain't. Because listen, oh, regard oh, regardless of the fact if I do when I do pull when I do snatch and grab her, you still got more zeros at the end <laughs> than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with people that. I'm hard. I'm very hard. <laughs> uh, I'm very hard. <laughs> Honey. Yeah. I'm just I did. Exactly. It was posted. Dinner was great. The party was great. And it was on a Sunday. So some people had to cut out a little early, but most people said, Honey, I didn't get the bed till 2 30. Girl, well, we, we left they that by. They didn't get over Sunday. They had a good time. They came to celebrate. Yes. And I appreciate my peoples for that. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. All right. Y'all have a good show. Yeah. I'm going to uh, catch you in a minute because I need you to do this voiceover for this video for Cartagena. We'll talk about Cartagena before you leave, Lagra. Yeah, gotcha. I ain't going nowhere. No. I'm talking about right now. Yeah, bye. No, I'm talking about talk about Cartagena right oh, now. Cartagena right now. Yeah. Okay. Cartagena, Colombia, July 21st through the 27th. Um, I'm going to make you, Madison, I'm going to make you a new domain. Because their old domain was qfdvacations.com. That was the old one. It says, you know, you're not doing that show anymore. I'm going to give you a new domain. Okay. So um, when you do the, uh, the voiceover, we'll put the new domain name in the video so you can actually run the ad. But we are going to Cartagena, Colombia, July 21st through the 27th. We're going to be staying at the Intercontinental Cartagena. Okay, we've got all kinds of stuff planned. If you've never traveled with us, go check out um, our Facebook page, Travel the World with T.S. Madison. Matter of fact, that's what I'm going to make the, um, the domain. Travel the World with T.S. Madison and um, look at all the shenanigans we've done over the last couple of years. We've been to uh, Costa Rica. We've been to the Dominican Republic. In New Mexico, we've done our Spanish and Italy and and France um, virgin voyages. We've done a cruise. We've done a little bit of everything. So now this year we're headed to Cartagena, Colombia. Y'all can come and actually hang out and spend time with her. Genuinely spend time with her in very intimate setting. Um, the Maddie Mob comes and turns all the way up. We have built a really great family, a very safe space for you to travel, have fun. We've got all kind of excursions built in. We, we, we do a lot of new experiences together. But I'm going to find you your ATVs. Make sure we can ride those ATVs in the Cartagena. In Cartagena yes, in I want to ride through the jungles of Cartagena, baby, on the ATV. Yeah. On the 18 wheeler, girl. I want to go, oh, the four wheeler, whatever that fuck that is. Yeah, the <laughs> no, I could drive yeah. an 18 wheeler. No, you cannot. Pull it out. Yeah. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> In the comment section, but uh, I'm gonna make your domain. I'll make your domain so you can, uh, <laughs> you know, when we're getting promoted here, uh, you'll have it. Uh, what is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. Um, something is seriously wrong with you. Something is seriously wrong with you. Why? Why? Uh, <laughs> a fag. That's all. <laughs> Bye, Legra. <laughs> Because I'm a fan, you know. That's what that's the <sighs> That's what, you know. That's what. That's why. Why, why are you like this? That's man? why I have to block Craig. Because <laughs> he do shit like that. All out all the blue. It's because he a fan. Oh. He can't help it. Oh, when you a PHAG, you can't help it. <laughs> no, you got me because I wasn't expecting it. When you, you I know me. when you but see because you you a straight man. So <laughs> when you a PHAG, you just can't help it. It's fact talk. You know? <laughs> oh, okay. That was a good one, man. That was a good one. Oh, it's always good. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. <laughs> oh, my God. Today. Today. <laughs> well, just because it was my birthday doesn't mean that things wasn't still going on in the world that I want to talk about before, you know, I get out of here because I'm... I'm I'm about to get out of here for a couple of days, and then you know we're gonna be Mo and Mo's gonna be back to doing um pay for your save. Uh, while she's out of town, while I'm gone, yes. Now he could have went with me, but he decided that he needed to. Uh... <laughs> you didn't tell me until the last minute. Okay, I wasn't telling you because you work for pay for your save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to try to see my hair. It's forty inches, girl. I want to try to see my forty inch. Yo, sorry, I was sitting on it because Jameson gonna kill me and, <laughs> and Amir. Amir made this for me. It's a 40 inch, 40 inches of mane, of pure mane, 40 inches of pure human horse mane, bitch. You know, 40 inches of pure mane. Oh, these nuts. Hold on, let me. These <laughs> <laughs> drunk is doing a lot to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would go, but I already made some uh 
pre-existing engagements. Yeah, which paid for your sale. <laughs> <laughs> why do I hear why do I hear pettiness in your voice? Because it's there. <laughs> okay. Oh <laughs> uh, no, this is not a drag race 40 inches, darling. <laughs> you a bad. <laughs> All right, let's talk about a couple of things before we get out of here because Mo got something to do actually. In the next hour, so we have we only have that left. Well, that's because I cut I, I cut it short yesterday because of your birthday. Well, you shouldn't have even had it yesterday. I and, always have it every Sunday. And man. I'm a, and I do it every Sunday. And man. I'm gonna tell you this: what my computer better not come back here like broken <laughs> until I get my computer. I'm about to tell all your business until I get my. Computer but I, I want to tell all your business, but I'm not because we're friends. <laughs> Just bring my computer back in one piece. You have it, back. the one I got from your dad. <laughs> 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 um, so speaking of bringing um, something back in one piece, bringing something back in one piece, some people ain't bringing nothing back. What's going on? Let me see. <laughs> a man arrested for posing as a mannequin in the store to steal jewelry after the ball closed. Hey, he got the right idea. <laughs> he got the right idea, motherfucker. Deal. <laughs> now, see, they weren't really checking his credentials, right? Because that man don't look like no fucking mannequin. <laughs> Click on that shit. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Is that him right That's there? a thick ass nigga. That is a that, he, I, ain't, I ain't never seen no mannequin that fucking thick. And I haven't seen that man, a mannequin so fuck that that color, that complexion before. No, that man um, the mannequins be white white. <laughs> <laughs> this is like beige white. And look at him. <laughs> look at him. Why did it a motherfucker? Listen that so that just dispels the notion that white people don't steal. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> You are the master of thievery. <laughs> <laughs> you are the master of thievery. You sitting your motherfucking ass up in there with thick as you is, thinking that you fooling. <laughs> thinking that you fooling somebody. At least get in shape before you try to pose. You niggas man. don't want to be transsexual, but y'all want to be manic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, mannequins ain't got nothing. <laughs> right. They just them. You got whole balls to be standing up there in that store waiting to steal little people's shit when the lights go off. You got whole balls in between your legs. <laughs> them mannequins ain't got shit down there. It's smooth. Smooth. <laughs> tight. Pussy. Oh. You say a kid pointed him out. That's how he got caught. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> you know how many times a kid done pointed me out? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to tell you how many times a kid has pointed me out? Uh, so I definitely believe that they got his posing ass together. Like, oh, mama, look. Look, mama, it's a man. <laughs> Oh. Mama, look, it's a man. <laughs> oh. Mama, oh. who is that man over there? <laughs> <laughs> Two things with three things would have got his motherfucking ass. What? Kids, uh-huh, dogs, yeah, Asians. <laughs> Why you say Asians? Baby, I ain't never met a transsexual that could go in the Asian store and get not get clocked. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how real you think you are. <laughs> go get your nails done. Oh, for real? <laughs> Bitch, please. I don't give a fuck <laughs> how real you think you are. Oh. Go get your nails done. Oh, they're going to be like, okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hi, you what? Mm. <laughs> you have boyfriend? <laughs> mm. You have boyfriend? I do for you. <laughs> really, man? That's make, what they be saying. I make you look nice for your boyfriend. <laughs> That's what they be saying, man. Do your boyfriend know? <laughs> <laughs> Be your boyfriend no. Be your boyfriend no. <laughs> no. You should do you have it? Wait, has that ever happened to you, man? Why, bitch? Yes. So what do you say? Do you say? Do you? 
What do you say when they say, do your boyfriend know? Do your boyfriend know? What do you say? I say, how could he not? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you looking up under my dress, bitch? <laughs> What the fuck is you? You think you're being funny? That's why I came in here with no drawers on. <laughs> Motherfucker. To terrorize you, bitch. Uh, uh, they got your whole, they got your feet in the hand. Your boyfriend likes soft feet? First of all, they all first of all they motherfucking ass stop. They already be talking like a bitch and that bitch, as soon as you walk in the door. They go to they go to lean into each other. And then you know when they all start look when they go to looking back, he is is spooked. Again, three things gonna get you get your deal clocked. Children, number one on the list. Animals, number two on the list. And third and last but not least, Asians. <laughs> it's just something about those eyes that they can see. <laughs> Them motherfuckers may not be able to drive a car through nothing. <laughs> but god damn it, they will get your deal like it ain't nothing. They, they can see the future. Your boyfriend no? <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, your arm and your back no look like the lady. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, your arm, your arm, and your back no look, <laughs> no looking like the lady. You you need a hormone back. <laughs> you need a hormone. And you know they are that rude though. Very. They are that rude. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> them in Africa is rude as fuck. Oh yes, I know that for a fact. Oh, and them African men. <laughs> um, okay. They get your ass too. They clock you too. Mm-mm, it's okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Eh? Wait. Wait for me. I'll, Wait I'll, for me. I'll, I'll be back. Now I'll they be- will <laughs> fuck you though. That's what. <laughs> that's what you. That's what you hoes gotta understand. <laughs> their curiosity will make them stick their dick in you. <laughs> but it's like after they done busted up and their eye twitch, because you know a few of them got those. They got those lazy eyes. I never really met an African person that really? ain't got a lazy. I don't have a lazy eye. No, you don't. Exactly. I thought you. Why'd you have to think about? It may be a tribe. I had to look over there. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> One of them motherfucking Africans be fucking you from the back, and that's how they get lazy when they. <laughs> and it's already lazy. They start. It's, it seems like they start thinking in their mind. I think I must do the wrong thing. <laughs> I, I might be making a mistake. <laughs> I think I might be making the mistake right now. Ah, you know, uh, 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 you know uh, don't worry. Eh? Don't worry. I, I, I'll you call know, you I later. I really like you, eh? so I'll, I'll call you later. Yes, eh? I'm going to take you to dinner. Uh, to dinner. Yes, huh? yes. Give me, give me uh, two centuries. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be but back. wait, wait for me. Wait, yes, wait for me. Right here. Wait. Just stay here. Eh? Stay here. Don't move. You don't want me to help you put your... No, no, no. no, no. Just no. stay here. Eh? Just stay here. Eh? I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> get, <laughs> and getting out there in the car saying Lord Jesus forgive me of my sins I don't know what I, I don't do. know what I've done I think I've let a man suck my dick God please forgive me forgive me God I didn't know <laughs> yes I, didn't I will know. say that to God I didn't know <laughs> I will never do it again <laughs> <laughs> Dear Jesus, I promise you, I would, I would never do I it again. I never do it again. Never, but never. The next week, <laughs> you see, I said I won't do it again. But, but listen, you waited for me here, <laughs> so I, I forgive you. I want to tell you that I love you. <laughs> <laughs> now, y'all motherfucking hoes, no, I'm telling the truth. Uh, don't even sit over there and act like y'all know I ain't telling the motherfucking truth. Do you know I mean? Listen. If I don't had a few hours, gonna fucking the shit out of me, wear me out. Uh, when I see that, I get lazy. <laughs> I'm like, he for the hell of It's about that time. <laughs> when that come, gonna come and do that shit. <laughs> 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 and that face get real ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, time for me to go. Time for me to go. 
No, no, I don't need a towel. I'm okay. I have, I have, uh, I have uh, uh, towel in the car. I have towel worry. in the car. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't, don't, worry. Worry. don't but worry. I'll be back. Eh? I'll be back. Don't, don't lay. Worry. Stay here. Stay here. Wait for me. Wait for me. Don't move. Don't, don't, don't move. If you move, then I won't come back. Then I won't come back. If you love me, you will trust me. You will trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth. (laughs) (laughs) Now, wow. Hey, Jesus. Please save me. Please wait. What did I do? Ah. Jesus. Uh, I will call you. You will not call me. Yes, please. eh? Please. Because uh, Because the way my phone is working. Yes, my, my phone is off, so I can only make. Yes, out, I can only make out call. I can You can't. I can't receive. Call. I remember I one only... of the motherfucking Africans terrorized me like that. I was calling. I am in church. How can I help you? I am in church. What What do you want? I am in church right now. Why are you bothering? Why are you bothering me? me? I'm in the house of God. <laughs> Didn't I tell you not to call me? Didn't I told you that? Uh-uh. Is your brain touching? Is it touching? Is it not, it's not connecting well? That's why no. you called me. It's not connecting. You don't listen. Don't call me again. Okay, okay. Ah. Every time you call, 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 call. Then, 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 I'll a, be back. then a month or two go by. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Are you there? It is me. It is me. Wait, <laughs> wait. You're one and only. Wait. <laughs> Listen to me. I think I found your number somewhere. I'm like, bitch. <laughs> Where you found my number? Uh, I was, I was going through my clothes and I saw the the number in the paper. Yes, so I, I said, said, Ah, uh, do I, I know you? Do Let I know you? Her. Do they act like they don't know? Do I know you? <laughs> <laughs> wait, where did I see you? Wait, 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 wait. Ah, I know you. You are the girl. Hey, from... I, think we, I think we should meet so I can remember yes, come, you. Come, so, come, 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 please. Wait, come, wait, come. Where to come? Wait, give, uh, give, give me your address. I'll be there. Yes, give me your address. Give you me your address. I can't have my own address because yes. the way my house is set up, you yes. can't, can't enter it. So... I will just come to you yes. and we'll meet and we'll, we'll discuss some, some issues that was going because on. Because I know you. I, I met you one. Eh. Do I know you? Wait. Oh, I'm from church. Eh. Eh, yes. Yeah. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> really? <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Yes, now it's church now. Yes. I, I remember I saw you when the pastor was praying. You caught the Holy Spirit. Yes. Ah, I was like, and all that time they used to be with that bullshit more. I used to be right there with him. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> bring your money. <laughs> Just bring your money. That's all. <laughs> That's all I need. That's all, nigga. You get in here. You start pulling the African shit. I remember bust your ass in the head with his face. <laughs> Oh, you know how much, y'all don't even know the shit out of me. You go, you come here, you start pulling that African shit on me, here, motherfucker. Cause the last time, as soon as you start, you hit me from the back. As soon as I, as soon as you start nothing, I can feel that dick just. I can feel that eye twitching. Wait, I think I have left something in the car. I will be back. Eh? Hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait here, wait here. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait here, bitch. <laughs> That's why you got to get your money from the dough. <laughs> up front. Up front. <laughs> so you ain't got to be bashing Mr. in the head and thinking about heaven later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyway, y'all, let's go to the next thing. Okay. Um, next, we, we, have, we, have, we have a scenario. Let's talk. About let's talk about the scenario. My boyfriend, a rapper, y'all know, doesn't like to wear underwear. Mm-hmm. That would be a sexy thing, except I could smell him even after he's left my bedroom. He came through on Friday. I'm writing y'all on the following Monday, and I still smell his dick in my bed. I've asked him to shower with me, but he says that's something he only does with his main chick. And he always shows my head in his lap, but I cannot hold my breath long enough to put my face down there and he never returns the favor. 
Our sex life is struggling because of his garbage hygiene, but he's a he's famous and I don't want to lose access to him. Advice. So, what do you have to say about that, man? Well, this is why I tell y'all all the time. Can't no man come around here without being submerged. I have to submerge you. I have to submerge you. Girl, the people down there in the comments writing people names. <laughs> Baby, the Maddie Bob is so messy. <laughs> Who y'all think it is? Y'all put the name down there. They mentioned a whole bunch of people. Who y'all think it is? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I'm Mo, you just, I'm not putting them on. Mo, wrote, you just wrote the name. I'm not okay. saying the names out okay. loud. Okay. Cool. Who y'all think it is, y'all? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Put their name on the screen. Really? Yes. Okay. That's the mom doing this. I ain't doing that. That's one. Oh, that's the first name they said. <laughs> that's, that's oh, one. no. No, that's not true. That's another one. Oh. There go another one. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> Dad, I believe that too. <laughs> this is another one. Hold on. This is another one. I believe that. <laughs> Here's another one too. Hey, who that? Oh my God, Rick uh, Rose! Oh my God, that's another one. Jock, uh, no, Jock got Jock had be too pretty to do that. <laughs> and that they go, there go another one on the on the screen right there. Oh, DJ Khaled, that I believe. Really, not Tiger. I believe that. They said Future, baby. Oh, really? Y'all think Future would give that? He, I think he'd be getting too many for for. But, uh, you think G Herbo do that too? They even said money bag. They said Roddy Way. They said little me. Now they, I just see little baby over there fighting for his life just recently. Oh, for real? By some damn rumors of, of him in a sex tape, in a, in a gay sex tape. Oh wow! I just see him fighting for his life with that. Don't y'all be misusing my name, you punks. <laughs> you punks is misusing my name. Can somebody please? <laughs> Can somebody please, in the name, give me that story about little baby? Please give yes, me that story. Please, if y'all can send it to Mo real quick. Yep. If y'all have it, please send it. Please. All right. Now, while y'all gathering that story to get at the Mo, I need y'all to explain to me what is the reason do you think that this man is doing this? When you hear something like this, this definitely sounds like a, a place of uh, mental control. I think that this person is uh, trying to show a place of, of dominance because he said, I only bathe with my main chick, you know, which really is given the uh, perception to the person that has common sense that he's coming to you filthy and dirty like this. And he has more respect for his main chick. And you just you just you just a piece of, of expendable situation. So I come to you dirty. However, it comes. Well, it seemed like they. In like a uh, a sneaky link relationship, I don't think it's a sneaky link. I think it's just a person that's that is actually has had an encounter with a with a uh, a rapper, and they feel as though like this is something like to be because you know I'm going to say this and then I'm going to I'm going to pull me out of it because I like to bring my my perspective in mm -hmm. from an experienced place. Y'all have never ever heard me talk about any person that I have ever dealt with, rapper. Producer, singer, athlete, per, uh, 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 a television star. You've never heard me talk about it because that's not my swag. That's not how I work. But it has been done. I, it, it has been done on numerous occasions. And so, therefore, when it has been done on those numerous occasions, you understand the placing that you have in those people's lives. The place is... This is this is the duty that you have. This is the this is the transaction, and so you you handle the transaction. And you keep moving. Right. Some of these people are dealing with these niggas because they rap niggas. I remember I met a girl once before that was fucking. Um, I think I told y'all this. That was fucking Allen Iverson, and she was talking about how she don't know how to ask him for money. And I was like, "Excuse me, it's, excuse me." So you fucking Allen Iverson, and you don't know how to request. You don't know how to invoice this nigga. Or you don't know how to ask a request. 
So I don't understand the the, the, the perspective, the mental perspective of, of someone asking you for your sexual services and you don't know how to ask them for compensation. I don't understand that. And you might as well be fucking a, a clean, broke nigga than a rich, dirty nigga because you're doing it both for free. What are you receiving? What are you gathering from that? That a rich nigga long dicking you? In the words of Joffrey Joffrey, who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? Joffrey Joffrey. Who told you that? Joffrey. You a dumb bitch. You might as well go on and be fucking the broke nigga. So, I don't get it. Why would you subject yourself to a, a, a filthy sneaky link when you can have a dirty dick motherfucking trade? <laughs> I don't get it. You know, have we got the story for a little baby? Yes, I just have it. Here it is. All right. Well, take out one of the things we already talked about. <clears throat> we talked about that that can go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked about the scenario that can go. Okay, so let's put this in here. All right. Uh, okay, so we have, let's see what they're talking about. Um, did they send the details to the story? I'd like to know the details of uh, the story. No, they didn't send the details. They just said that. Rapper Lil Baby respond to a viral gay sex tape rumor. And then this is what he had to say about it. Y'all got to stop using my name and likeness. Oh, wait. Name and likeness? Yeah. Hold on. Y'all got to stop using my name and likeness when y'all get bored. Then the extremes motherfuckers go for clout is sick. Ain't no mystery in my history. On no level. This is my last time addressing any kind of dumbass clickbait. The fuck is wrong with y'all? No flaws, no cap in my rap. Um, now I was with him until the likeness part happened. I need to see the video. <laughs> well, if now I was following him all the way until I heard likeness. Please send that to please send the video. I need to, to see the video. Yeah, please send that directly to Maddie, please. Because the likeness is, is terrifying. No, we can send it to you, Mo. No, nah, I don't need to see that. You can send it to you. It'll get to you faster. <laughs> I'd like to see what the likeness <laughs> means. I don't like that word. <laughs> because if I'm means, like, because if that look like him. Well, he can't get mad if somebody looked like him. Because that's not his likeness. That's he has to look alike. Likeness means you're using my things. Unless they've photoshopped his head or did some kind of AI situation on his head or with his face or something like that. That is likeness. Because AI uses your likeness. I've always thought that he was this is not an AI. I've always thought that he looked like a he was shaped like a like a stud. Really, Maddie? Bitch. Yes. Really? <laughs> I just was looking at him one day with some shorts. Really? You know how a bitch be talking about I'm shaped like a like a potato? <laughs> or a burlap bag? Well, that's that other bitch that's shaped like a burlap bag. I'm a small bean bag. But I've seen him. I was look. I was like, he kind of shaped up like a, a bull dyke. Really, Maddie? You really think he shaped like that? Yes. There's a lot of men that I've seen that's been shaped up kind of like a stud. That I've been kind of with my head tilted to the side. <laughs> I'm like, how are you over there shaped up like Whoopi Goldberg? I just don't get it. I, obviously, you see it. I did. I, Mo, because you don't look at men. You're right. And so, no, I've looked at you. You're shaped like a man. I, I had to look. One time you had on something. I was like, Mo, kind of what? 
shaped up like a oh, African. That's it. He got it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody put Manny yeah. Fresh down there. Yes, very uh, stud. Very uh, very not going as a trans man, but definitely very butch dyke with titties. <laughs> Fresh, 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 fresh. <laughs> uh, right, <laughs> <laughs> right. Back me up on this though. Right? <laughs> you inbox me. Let's get into some things. Okay. <laughs> now, if it, if it's not him, this because he's shaped up. If that body ain't shaped up like a stud, it's definitely not him. Cause maybe that thing is shaped up like that thing is is shaped up like a very butch woman that got that walks around with a strap in her pants, honey. Oh wait, I got. Oh wait a minute, so I'm getting texts saying this. Oh wait a minute, hold on. What? Oh, I'm getting the information. I was just about to copy it. Oh, it. hold on. <laughs> Okay, so the one that suck is supposed to be him. Now, y'all is so messy for that. Y'all are messy because that don't look like that damn boy. Oh, it don't? No. Oh, why are you still looking at it, though? <laughs> why are you still looking at it, though? <laughs> Maddie, I thought you were just trying to see if it looked like him. Maddie. Maddie. Because I think I, I'm trying to figure out who exactly that is. <laughs> Seriously, no. <laughs> it's dead. The... Why you, would y'all do this? No, I just see the oh, head. Why was your head? Why was your head doing that? <laughs> oh, this my. is not that man. I'm not going for that. I'm not doing it. It's not. I'm just. It's just not right. That's not him. And people, let me read the comments. Let me read the comments. Somebody put on here, yo, that little baby. No, girl, that is not that boy. Y'all be so quick to believe this type of stuff. No. This don't even really got no traction on it like that. Not this one. This, but I'm, wait a minute. <laughs> it's the sound. <laughs> There's something about that soothing sound. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Wait, did you just say that's a soothing sound? Yes, I can get. <laughs> Maddie, you. <laughs> Maddie, you know what a soothing sound is. Yes. You know, soothing sounds like when you listen to the water. And then you see me just ladies. You just see me. <laughs> soothing sounds like when you listen to water. You listen to the, the ocean. That, yeah, that's soothing yeah. sound. Yeah, that was ASMR for me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a washing machine? <laughs> 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 I definitely don't see a little baby in there. Oh. I definitely don't see that. Oh my goodness. Wait, I have seen the un 
field tip for wait a minute. At KVE at King D says this is the real boy Madison. This me. Let's get into some things on YouTube. Oh, that's not the baby. Oh, it's not? No. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Madison, what's going through your mind right now? Lots. <laughs> Wait. What? That's not him at all. That's not him at all? Well, or it mean it doesn't look like him at all? Not to me. Oh, okay. I'll take you. I wouldn't have looked at that and thought that was him. Mo, they had a censored version. They had a censored version that you could have saw. And they had an uncensored version. I have I saw both. And it doesn't look like him. No. Oh, okay. I don't So then why do they why are they saying it? Child, because this shit is clickbait and rumors and stuff like that. They love doing that stuff. And all it does is further make the men hate punks with shit like that. You know? Yeah, y'all can't be doing that. People can't be click using people's names for clickbait. Oh. There was a lot of stuff going on in her. It did, it did seem like it was on the spin cycle in there. <laughs> And the machine ain't the machine the inside. Of, you know how the thing be in the middle of the machine be fucking up be, like it's loose. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. That's not little baby. We're not even gonna sit up here and hold y'all with that right. bullshit. That is not little baby. Oh, they they do want to talk about this though, man. What is it? Did you hear about uh, DJ Envy? Hmm. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Let me see if I can get. Why no, you talk- we don't need to get it. Let's oh, okay. talk about it. He addressed on the Breakfast Club, which I saw with my eyes, because I was going to talk about this. That he ain't had nothing to do with that with his partner. Now I believe him, because okay. if Mo, you my partner over here and stuff, and it be shit that you don't know that have any of the things that I got going on. You just know you come to work. Yeah, that's it. So I'm not finna sit over here and act like that. Um. You know, that I'm always in immediate, immediate believe it. For those people that don't uh, do business or don't have any business sense about themselves or have any type of business going on, you wouldn't really understand that. You feel me? Because you can get a business, go in business with a, and have a partner and they, and you know, they have, you have no idea what they're doing or how they're handling anything. You just put your money in there and shit and then they doing the thing and there's, you have no idea like how it's going. And so, you know, I just want to wait till it unfolds before I start really even sitting there going through like, oh yes, bitch, he did that. We we're really so quick to believe something that um, oh he received money. Hold on, let me move this out of the way. Come on, what happened? Oh, they said they got um uh, just uh, bunny, I believe she said uh they got video. What they got videos of him doing, taking I, money from the people. I think it. I think yeah. I think she means of the uh, of him receiving money from people. They said, and she she said he has YouTube videos of him accepting money. Uh, Sharonda, don't come in here with that. Sharonda, I said that was not little baby. I don't come in here with selective hearing now. Even though it's my birthday, I still go to the flow with it. <laughs> I did not say that that was, I said that that was not little baby. I said that. Y'all have more on that information. Hold on. Oh, okay. Sorry. I want to stay right here for a second. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Because that's not even my swag. I said that was not little baby.
And I also promised this year that I wasn't doing too much cussing like I did last year. Because yesterday was the first day of my new year. And I said <laughs> that I was not going to be doing that this year. But I'm not above it. <laughs> <laughs> Because y'all will take that and then go somewhere and say that I said that there was that man. I did not say that. Right. He said it does not look like that at all. So. I said it don't look like that boy at all. What I did, if you want to hear anything that I said, I said that he's shaped like a bull dagger. <laughs> I said that he was shaped like a stud. That's what I said. And I had been looking at him recently and I've been getting stud by I said that, that he was built up like a woman. I didn't say that was him down there. I said that that don't even look like, because that man is actually built like a man. <laughs> Right now, come on now. What's all that shit? We're not going into 2024. Y'all lying on me with that shit. Tell me so what y'all think y'all heard me say. We're going to get exactly off of what I said. Now let's get back to this thing with DJ Envy. Okay. Now, y'all please run me the deets on this. Because at first I was yes. like, let me please send me the information if you because. Can. Now, he done took money and all that type of shit. Yeah, she said that they even held seminars, too. She said that they held seminars. So if you guys have the... Um, no, send it to my Instagram. If you guys have it, send it to my Instagram. So, I want to know how do y'all feel about it? Talk to me about how how you guys feel about it. Like, what are you? What are your thoughts? Let me echo off of your thoughts. I'm reading your comments in the comment section, and I really like to echo off of your thoughts. Yes, um, Aries eighty eight said uh, DJ Envy didn't do anything. He got scammed. Also. Hold on, I'm getting some tea right now in my inbox. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. All right, J. Alfred Lofter, sent me some stuff for you, Mo. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm just seeing this. Ooh. Things are going. I mean, I'll be your right. Ooh, child. Things will get brighter. Ooh, Mo. Oh, my God. Father, why did, listen, we're going to get back to the DJ Envy in a second. God, I wish I could, po I wish I could post these things in there, Mo, without you seeing it, but you got to post these in there. Hold the line for me one second, Mo. I can give you these things to post in there, girl. Here you go, Mo. And don't you tell nobody because people going to think that I'm racist and I'm not. For real? Really? Really? Y'all are messy. Who sent you this? <laughs> Who sent you this? Who sent you this, Maddie? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. So this is what we doing. Oh Tammy late, y'all. Y'all say hey to Tammy. She late. <laughs> oh, please send please. We have to do this. Why? This is discriminatory. <laughs> this is not discriminatory. <laughs> you just sat there and backed me up on that damn uh, African man <laughs> fucking me in my ass and busting a nut. And he's eye twitching. And he just, oh, okay, what? Which for me. Oh, tell me, you just, you just got a shower. You was washing your nuts off, girl. Where you finna go?
Mo, don't act like you don't want to put this in the, in the system. <laughs> you could have actually logged in from your phone and put it in through the system. I got to, I got to, I have to download it first to my phone first. We're going to get back on DJ Emmy, <laughs> Emmy in a second. No, we can stay on DJ Emmy. But I need to get on, I need to address, I need to address this. The elephant in the room needs to be addressed. What's the elephant in the room? This. What's this? How Lay's potato chips is all inclusive. That's not... That's this is this is a uh, Photoshop. This ain't real. <laughs> this is real. I'm gonna get me a check out of this. I'll say I feel, I feel this is a uh, blasphemy towards Nigerian culture. I need I for you to go ahead on and put this in here so that we can do an Alexa play on this. No, we don't need to do that. Uh. We're gonna talk about DJ Envy in a second. Mo, you need to load this into the system, please. I'm 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 putting it. I'm getting Okay, it so y'all say y'all wanna address blue face. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta pause for this one sec. Mo, it's moving too slow. Why do why do we not have it in the system? It's it's take my, my phone is acting a little slow. It right shouldn't. Now. You got a new phone. It shouldn't. Maybe I don't have the updates on the phone yet. You say you're not gonna lie, there's a little re resemblance. No, that boy don't look like little baby. I'm sorry to let y'all know, he don't look like little baby. I ain't trying to even be, I ain't even trying to hold y'all. He don't look like little baby. Mo, I sent you more than just that one. So don't even do that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. It looks even more messy and put on the big screen. Oh my God. I gotta watch it because I don't. I don't been ran down on by two Africans already. <laughs> <laughs> Saying Mo, you really let that faggot sit over there, <laughs> that motherfucking punk, uh -huh. sit up there and tell y'all that shit. Yeah, we can take that little baby shit out of there. That's not real. I don't, want, I don't even know why he addressing all that shit like that. That boy don't look nothing like him. And you punks messy for doing that shit, trying to get y'all name in the damn thing. I think we talked about this. That too. Yeah, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you can delete this after that, but send it to me so I can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got thrown completely out from the DJ Envy conversation because we just ran across a new brand of Lay's potato chips. It's Mo, not a new brand. Of can we please? It's not a new brand. Please. Not a new brand. Can we please see the new brand of Lay's potato it's chips? Not a new brand. That Lay's has introduced. That's a, a lie. For the culture. Let's go, it's not stop. for the culture. For the culture. Which culture? <laughs> for the culture. I don't know which culture you talking well, about. I, now listen, if you don't click it, I'm gonna go over here and click. <laughs> so you click on the motherfucking thing. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? Oh my Why are you god. laughing so hard? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mo, please go in slow motion, please. Mo, please go in slow motion, please, Mo. Please, God. I went slow. You didn't go slow enough. <laughs> We need to talk about this. This is important. What's there to talk about? I need to know. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Please, God. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh my God. Please, Jesus, please. <laughs> this to you. Oh my God. I'm blocking him. Who oh my God. You? No, you can't block him. <laughs> I can't reveal my sources. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> now see, that's what they do with the AI generator. <laughs> Somebody just wrote a comment session. They do it too much with the AI generator. That's the shit what they doing with the AI. But well, one last time, and then I'm going out of the way. <laughs> I just got to look at it one last time, and then I don't want to see it no more. Uh, 
<laughs> what would that taste like, Lord? <laughs> Where I got ruffles? <laughs> why do we get? Why do we got those specks in it? <laughs> what is the? I would never eat it. The lazy goose is. <laughs> reveal yourself in the chat. No, who said this? Don't you reveal yourself? <laughs> don't you reveal yourself? <laughs> don't, <laughs> Don't you reveal yourself to Mo. <laughs> this is between us. Stay anonymous. <laughs> stay motherfucking anonymous. And you must stay anonymous because I don't need Mo blocking you. <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all bitches is messy. Y'all are. Y'all some messy bitches. It don't make no sense. It does not make any sense how messy y'all is on this end of day. <clears throat> Y'all is messy in this internet. Highly so. Oh my God, that just sucked me away from here. <laughs> they said whoever made that was petty. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh, Jesus in the day. <laughs> oh. I'm going to find out. But the gag is Lays will do some shit like that, though. <laughs> now, I ain't even going to front on Lays. Don't, don't be surprised if Lays will do some shit like that. <laughs> Lay's messy as a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. Password to Maddie phone. Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. You. You're not going to find them. I'm going to find you. You ain't going to find them. <laughs> I will, send me two dick pictures. <laughs> Soon as they scroll, I'm going to go past it. They'll never find you. You send me two dick pictures, whoever sent me there, with both click on it, you ain't going to see nothing but dick pictures. You're going to be hidden. Hidden. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to uh, tell y'all, uh, Lays is not above it. <laughs> I'm let I'm, I want to let you, you know. Really see Lays doing this. No, Lays has mac and cheese, fucking potato chip. <laughs> I want y'all to know that Lays is not above it. <laughs> Please understand that Lays is all inclusive. <laughs> Thank you, Laura Rawls. Lays is all. I wouldn't be surprised if they had chitlin chips. Oh, Lays is all inclusive. That would stink. Uh, somebody asked, did I see Tiger Tiger walking on the beach? Yes, I did. He built like one of those. Uh, what is them things from the uh from the men in black? Oh, the work the uh the, the, the roaches or the worms? Yeah, he built them like one of them. And I was like, my God, today. It's a picture that I want to post to Tiger that I can't do it. Why? Won't, they won't let me do it. Oh. Won't let me do it. Just won't let me do it. But I say that in my favorites. <laughs> well, I know what it is now. You sure do. Because <laughs> when I scroll through my favorites, I be looking at it all the time. <laughs> I showed G. He was like, no. I said, honey, listen, y'all going to put shit past everybody. I don't put shit. If you a man... I don't put shit past you. It just don't work for me. I ain't putting shit past no nigga. Y'all women's out there can believe everything the motherfucking nigga say. I don't believe a word of it. I may go with you, nod my head, and be like, mm, yep, ah. Uh, but do I believe your words you say? Nope. You can tell me the sky's falling outside. If I don't go outside and get hit by one of the motherfucking clouds, I don't believe it. Just ain't doing it. You put your trust in a nigga. Stupid hole, how you feel? That's all I'm gonna say. And if 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 uh, what's that bitch name? If that motherfucker got them uh, lamb chop bitch ain't never said nothing. I tell y'all this shit all the time. You put your trust in a nigga. Stupid hole, how you feel? I'm just not gonna never do it. Anyway, let's go on. Y'all want to talk about Blueface? What y'all want to talk about Blueface? How he cussed his mama? I call her Carlisa. I believe he's getting married to his other baby. I really don't talk about those people because I've always felt that those people were like a a a, play, a placement in a space of nonsense. <sighs> yes. And not just as nonsense. I mean, that's entertainment for people. People really get into uh they really, really get into that that whole thing. I couldn't tell you too much what's going on in the life of what's this girl named Krishan. I just know she had a baby. The baby was in the store. I, it's just like things that I, I just, I'm not interested in that. And, I, and I'm not saying this 
in a bad way. Like that's mm-hmm. not my form of entertainment. Like I don't, I don't. That's not what you you subscribe to. No, I don't care about it. Like I don't, I don't care what they have going on. I don't care about anything that they have going on. Nothing. Don't mean a hill of beans to me. I wish them prosperity and blessings, but I just I don't have an opinion of it. Yeah, there go Tiger right there. You see it, Mo? You see it? Mm-mm. No? I don't see it. You can't open your eyes. I'm blind. I'm Mo, you don't blind. see Tiger right there. You don't see it. I'm legally blind. You legally the POP holding him down. <laughs> it's POP holding him down, Mo. No. No more. Yeah, I'm okay. You're not gonna see Tiger. Nah, I'm good. P.O.P. holding it down. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, Maddie. I, um, I don't subscribe to those type of things. You ain't gotta subscribe to. <laughs> I ain't never deleting that. <laughs> really? Mm-mm. And how can you? How do you know he got a hat on too? Well, because you ain't look. It's okay to look to to, to, to is if, if you was in the, you doing those mock trials, and my, <laughs> just think of him being on trial and this is the evidence. <laughs> you gonna look for the evidence so you can be like, oh, okay. <laughs> it is him. I, I I see it. Right. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, it's about to send it to you, Shamar. <laughs> Um, I don't want to talk about Palestine or Israel right now. I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. Soon, I'll talk about it. But I don't want to talk about it right now. But I will on the surface say that the killing of innocent women, children, and men, and, and innocent people at, is not of God. And also it's um I don't I just don't find that the, the necessity in a lot of the things that we war over. Um I know though I do believe that we're we have been um again this is why I've I've I always feel that there should be separation of politics politics and religion and beliefs. And I, I've always felt this way. I will feel this way to the end. I don't think that there should be any type of merging of the two. I don't think that, um, you know, I think that we we go on, and I don't, I'm not saying that the Bible is not real or this and other. I'm not saying that it's, 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 a, it's a, you know, I'm just saying that, that it, it has sparked so many, um, wars and, um, Unnecessary uh, lives have been lost because of religious beliefs, and uh, everyone's interpretation of of God and who is chosen, and and this and the other. Um. So, personally, I just feel that uh, the killing of innocent children, the killing of innocent people, period. Over uh, over things over of land and uh, property and uh, the things, I just I just feel like that you you have to really think about it. it's 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 senseless, you know, like in, innocent people don't have anything to do with uh, with with things, and I also feel that there should definitely be a a, a separation of of biblical and anything. To do with politics, and uh, I just feel that it should be a complete separation of that. Completely, I'm not uh, at liberty to say who owns who who owns what. I'm not at liberty to say who does what and who has this, and what God uh, promised two brothers, and how who are the descendants of. Um, of who I'm not at liberty to say any of those things. I have my own personal thoughts about it. However, 
at the surface, on the surface level. People should not be dying. That's the way I feel. That people should not be dying over property, over over land, and over those types of things. I just don't. That's just the way I feel about it. Yeah. I just. That's the way I feel. At all. I do know that this stuff is 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 definitely uh, uh, bib bib biblical based. Am I correct? In my, mm -hmm. oh, I think it's very biblical based, and I have always said that religion um, is uh, a huge downfall in our community, and that's all communities in, in actuality. You know, because. Everybody believes something. Everybody has interpreted something some way. And, um, you know, I, it's it's insane to me. You said, no, not all of it is biblical-based. Well, a lot of it is biblical-based. I've, I've, I've watched, my mother sits here, and she watches TBN every day. And there are times that I'm watching TBN. And I'm looking at the way TBN handles things in our own communities here in the United States. And I look at the way that TBN has conversations um, around uh, issues of color. Um, and I've watched how they handle it and how they've uh, wrapped up their ideas and their beliefs um, with justifications uh, from God. And so I've watched it. I watched them have conversations around President Trump's presidency. Um, I've watched them have, and I'm watching it from the from a perspective of them uh, 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 standing on the ground of of telling them that uh, of speaking about of, of them being Christians. So from a Christian perspective, um, from the from a Christian perspective. I've seen them talk about race issues and I've seen them dance around how uh, and how there's still systemic racism going on in the country. I've seen them dance around how unfairly black people are are handled in this country and how they all sit and they they communicate through the word of God and yet they still dance around, you know, factual things. I've seen them talk about how um, they don't believe in some of the statues that were coming down in Carolina and how the Ulysses, Ulysses grants and, you know, all the Civil War statues were being broken down, how, you know, they were talking about it from a Christian perspective. And I was sitting there watching TV in with, with my mother with my hands folded, like, are you are you kidding me? Like, how are you? You're not a person of color and you don't. And and, and here's the thing. I, I love all people, but the white people are still benefiting from the things of their forefathers, from the things that their forefathers have done. And black people are also reaping the repercussions of the things that their forefathers have done. And if you hold a Bible in your hand and you're a preacher in a church and you you politic, you dance around those things. You dance around those things in the pulpit and you act like that this is nothing going on in the uh, in the world. And you talk about it from a Christian perspective. And yet you leave out all the things that are that are that are truly in black and white. I'd be having an issue with that. And I really didn't, you know, pay TV in any attention like that until I got older. And I was able to you know, really look at what's going on in the world and really look at how that from a Christian perspective, when they talk about these things, how how are you not talking about the things that have happened to the people in this world that based off of Christianity? How are you not communicating? Thank you, Flame. I love you. How are you not communicating to the congregation and you're not communicating to the masses of audiences that you have you're talking about Christ and the love of Christ and the love of God and all this stuff, and you're dancing around the things that are that are actually going on in our country. Mm 
at this current moment. I watched TBN during the whole George Floyd murder. I watched it. And I watched, uh, a, there was a particular program in general, in, 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 not in general, a particular program that stood out to me. I was the Mike Huckabee show. And I was watching him and I watched him defend those white people who, when the black people were marching, they came out there and they had their guns on them. And um, I watched him paint the people that they had their guns out on as the aggressors. I watched him defend those black people, excuse me, defend those, those white people and said those black people were aggressive to these people. I watched him do this. And so I was there with my arms folded and I just was like, you know, then, you know, the way that they speak about, they, they've spoken about uh, the way that this land was taken from the indigenous people that were here already. Then the way that they dance around, like, I'm like, this country was not built on anything of God. This country was not built on any, I, I don't, why are you even sitting here on the television screen? And, and, and the biggest watchers of TBN are older black people, are black people. And so when I watch black people consume this stuff, like my mother, I get in an angry place. And I watch black people absorb this, and then they regurgitate this out to their own community. And I just sit with my hands folded, and I'm like, um, uh, what? What are you talking, like, what? What are you talking about? Like, what, what's, what are you saying? Nothing about this country was built on anything that had anything to do with G.O.D., it was built off of the it was built of everything for man to receive. This country was not built on anything God. This country was not one nation under God indivisible. It was not that. Please miss me with that. So usually when I watch these things go on in the world, I cross my legs and I look at it and I want to have a lot of things to say about it, but I know that my thoughts, because again, a lot of things are really built in uh, religious religion and, and, and this is where I, it is, it's a big downfall of our country, of, our, of ourselves as the people. I didn't say don't have a relationship with the Most High or God or whatever you deem the, the, the greater authority is because I have a relationship. My thing is the, the, the rooted things within religion, um, which makes people um, have the preconceived notion or the perception that they own territories and they own lands because the Bible told them this. So when it's time for me to talk about that, I will talk about it, especially from a perspective that you you guys would not even be expecting me to talk about it from because I watch television and I absorb television a different way than y'all absorb television. Again, what we learned in our black church is that, is this what Esau and Jacob? Am I correct? I want to be correct in it. It's it's a war from it, not that not this but it, it's there's been a division between Esau the descendants of Esau and Jacob. Yeah, I think it started farther than that. Well, that's how it began. What was promised to Esau and Jacob? So you know, birthrights. From what God, this, this is this goes back. Uh, oh, Isaac and Ishmael, yeah, that. So one of them brothers, one of that said Isaac and Ishmael. Okay, good. Get, get me right, y'all know I'm in the in the, in the wave of it. 
So all of this is Abrahamic stuff that I'm like, oh, God. So we're going to, people are going to lose their lives over, kids are going to lose their, their lives, innocent people are going to lose their lives over this type of stuff? Okay. All right. You said I was on the right track? I don't know. I'm not a, Esau and Jacob. Okay, something. I don't know. I just know it's wrapped into that because here we are just like magic tricks is saying that we know it's prophecy. So we're back to biblical. We're back to a biblical standpoint on, on, on this stuff. So here we are. Back to the biblical perspective of it. And I'm very much so like, I feel like that all of this stuff needs to have been separated. We're right back to biblical again. Oh, you said I was right, BX Tiki. Uh, Jacob stole Esau's blessing. Jacob got his uh, comeuppance, though. Okay. You said you thank Miss Mary for putting that in. Yes, she did, baby. I was. This is uh, this stuff was instilled to me, young. I may not have it down all the way to the point, but I was it was most definitely instilled in me at a young age. And so, you know, that's why when I see stuff like this, I'm always like, oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's pronounced magic tricks. All right, baby. Thank you. I got you, boo. You said Jacob stole Esau's birthright. Oh. Okay. Uh, Mr. Rex said, if God foresaw, put this up here. Let me read what Mr. Rex's conversation. Come here. Yes. If God foresaw all this, why didn't he intervene to protect the people he loves so much? Miss me with the free will. Mm. Uh, Cairo, the artist, says they're putting a lot more money into the uh, commercials on TV in the UK, uh, they were people of color, okay? Ishmael was still blessed. They were cousins of Hagar. That was my grandmother's name. What, Hagar? Mm-hmm. That was my great, that was my great grandmother's mother's name, Hagar. Mm -hmm. You said it's an interesting conversation and thought provoking? Yeah, I mean, I watched TBN. I watch TBN and I watch TBN in places at times, you know, there's, I, I still, I still love hearing great messages of encouragement and great messages of, 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 of blessings and great messages of, you know, where my loved ones are that are not here anymore. I still love hearing those messages, but I also in the back of my mind, I'm always sitting in a space thinking like, you know, there's so much stuff that we, while I'm sitting here watching TV, in that these white people are sitting here talking to my colored ass as if things didn't transpire in this country. And especially when it gets down to them having conversations about Trump's presidency and how he's ordained by God to blah, 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 and yakety fucking smackety. Let's go up here really quick because I would like to I'd like to go back. Go up. Go up. Up, 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 up right there. Mercy said, it isn't biblical, Maddie. That was done by Britain, who colonized Palestine, then gave it to Jewish people. The land of Israel was going to make its land in Uganda and change it to Palestine. 
Okay, so if you said it's not biblical mercy, Hope, I ask you, I implore to ask you, why did Britain, why did Britain that colonized Palestine, Palestine, uh, give it to Jewish people, the land of Israel was going to, like, why? I think that they did this because it was based off of biblical beliefs. This is why we have lots of Christians here in our country um, speaking about how this land was promised because biblically it was promised, you know, to a set of people. So again, it is it is de- it is most definitely rooted in religion. Was, it's definitely rooted in religion. Correct. Now that I'd like for you to highlight. You see, when he said the Bible was not written by the Most High. Let's go. That's how I feel in certain things. Certain stuff I feel. Yes, it is rooted in racism, which is also which also stems back to biblical shit because That same Bible upholds, even in the scriptures that are there, people owning other people. Owning other people. Am I right? Okay. All right. All right. Moving on. I just got my eyes open and I'm watching. Because I don't like the way TBN handles the presidency. I don't like the way the, the TBN handles the conversation around what's going on in Palestine and Israel. I don't like any of it. I watch it and I'm over there like, but I watch it to, to retain information and to form or formulate my own thoughts around it. Because I don't like the way the motherfucker, I don't like the way those people <laughs> handle things of, that look like me of color. I don't like the way they they dance around it. Like they really dance around that shit, and I just be like, and my mama be glued in there. And I look, and I, I look at her, and I look at people who are glued to it. And I look at them, and I look at the people that are sitting around talking about stuff. Yesterday, when I came downstairs, there was a whole sermon on transgenders. I was just like, wow. It's a whole, I mean, a whole sermon. And they were really sitting there painting out transgender people to be evil. I was just sitting there lit watching. And I was like, you know, I, I really would like to say if, if, um, if I was a person that was totally immersed into, uh, TBN, I would miss God. I would miss God. If I was immersed deeply into the belief system of other people, I would miss God. 
because I just, I just don't, I don't think I would have found, I think I would have missed God and I would have been so, in, in so deeply enthralled on how do I fix what he made or how do I fix what he perfectly crafted and created? How do I fix? I would be so really deeply dug into how do I fix a mistake that I didn't even make? I, don't, I, I can't consume it. I just watch it. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, before we move on, let's, since I have your attention, guys, please make sure that you visit, because this show is proudly sponsored by Skin Potion dot com that's www.shopskinpotion.com please whenever you get the opportunity to go forth you will know that the veil of venus is a new fragrance that is coming out from skin potion and that's not skin potions with an s because that's another company it's skin potion shopskinpotion.com okay it's natural organic it smells amazing yes they are always sold out but the window of being able to do the pre-order is open. This way you can get your Veil of Venus, which is the new fragrance. All right, let's go. Uh, take us home, Mo. Last couple of things. All right, well, we got something else right in here, right here. Let's talk about it. A domestic abuser. Oh, my God. I watched this. Now, this is a... This I watched is, it, too. <laughs> he freed himself while the deputies was in another room breaking up the fight. Frank DeLeon murder trial. Now, I watched this video, Mo. I did too. I watched that nigga politely walk out of there. My I watched him over in the... Himself. Yeah, I watched him over there tearing that bitch up in there. In the other room. I watched him tearing it up in the fight. And the deputies left him and they went to go break up another fight in another room. He hauled ass. <laughs> but this goes to speak to the system of how, and ladies, y'all gonna get mad at me, but oh, the fuck will. This speaks to the system of how the real people that are not protecting you is your own government. The real men that are not protecting you is your own government. Or that's out. Because just to show us that man get free, he was already in there for fucking that lady up. You don't think that that nigga is going to go try to fuck her up? For calling the police on him? For putting him back in that bitch? And they and they were saying they still haven't found they were they haven't found him. They going to find him soon. Trying to fuck that lady up. They going to find him trying to fuck up that lady that fucked him, put him in there. Cuz that's what he was in there for. He was in there. According to the, uh, the, the, I think it was the chief, uh, she said that there, even if they wanted to, even if somebody wanted to go break up the fight in the other courtroom, she said that at least one officer should have been with him, staying there, watching him. But the, both officers that were supposed to be watching him, they left to go handle that. And so he was like, why am I still sitting here? I'd like to go back to this. Oh, okay. Y'all done crumped me up. And I was very nicely, oh, sorry, I was very nicely, I got it. I was very nicely not talking about this. Shell Bali says, please be careful when you say what was written by Avid and what wasn't. I'm a gay female who is a believer in Christ. There are a lot of fake Christians out here. If you believe in God, the Father, and God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit, then after Jesus was called up back into the heaven, we're at where he is at the right hand of the Father advocating for us. So the Holy Spirit came over to the disciples and they were led by God to write the Bible. It was written in Hebrew and Greek. So words just could translate. All right, I, I see what she's saying. Um, uh,
there are so many translations of words that weren't even words. It was just like, or, or inflections on how people believe. Like, what is this, a lily? But there's no word for lily in English. Mm, I think this is a, a daisy. Because we got a word in there for a date, but it's not that. That's not what that is. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, it was the way that it's been translated and, and interpreted. And there were so many words that have been added by, by translation. It was added by translation that didn't mean certain things. But not only that, before they started writing, everybody just used to tell stories by mouth. So have you, have you ever played that game when you were in school where you had to tell some one person a secret, you, the other person had to tell the love person a secret? Things get lost do, uh, through communications also. So that's another thing. Also. Correct. Also, so. when we talk about what Paul saw and what Paul, because Paul, from my understanding, wrote revelations or... I don't want to be wrong in this because I, I I don't I'm not I don't profess myself to be like a biblical. I know what word was instilled in me when I was growing up, but it was instilled the what was instilled in my mom. It was instilled in me, and I'm still I still have questions. I still have questions about things, you know, that were written. You know, because there are so many books of the Bible when it was constructed that were left out. What is it? It's sixty six books in the Bible, sixty six books. Um, and there were so many, you know, and man laid, put that together on what, what is the word of God. They put that together. You said he wrote most of the New Testament. Okay. Um, well, from my understanding, I don't, from what I think, I, I, from what I was been listening to, I don't know if this to be true or not, but I, I, I was, I had heard that Paul wasn't even, um, uh, that Paul told somebody that, and they wrote that. That Paul wasn't even the one that 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 wrote that. Paul told this, and somebody else wrote it and said it was according to Paul. Down the line, am I correct? Okay, so I, I am I a bit am I in the am I in the in the right lane of it? His scribe, right? Okay, so I'm kind of in the right lane of it. So when when this when I'm hearing these types of things, I'm not as dumb as y'all. Just because I talk with double negatives and I talk about dick all the motherfucking time, because bitch, my life is wrapped was wrapped around the sex. Please believe that I'm smarter than a lot of you people think. Especially when it comes down to stuff like this, because I'm I'm I want to know, I want to know. Um, so from my understanding, that this was a translation of a translation of a motherfucking translation. So if I tell Mo a story, and Mo goes motherfucking over there, and he tell Chi Chi a story. And Chi Chi done smoked two fucking joints. And he tell the story that was told to Mo that was told to Mo by me, who the story was told by Miss Mary. And we don't got words for certain shit that happened to Miss Mary because during Miss Mary's time, it was that shit wasn't even going the fuck on. But we get it down there and we say, oh, I think that it, she meant this. You don't know because you can't talk to motherfucking her. Because the story got the Chi Chi from Mo. Who got it from me? Who got it from my mama? The word homosexual wasn't even in the Bible. Homosexual was not even there. It's not there. I think it was added. In 1942, I think it was added. Y'all, please don't get me on this type of stuff because I have really, truly been in a space trying to understand why am I a fucking fag? P-H-A-G.
So what I have, when we sit in church, again, let's talk about it. When we sit in church and we listen to the pastor, the preacher, the rabbi, the, the, the leader, break down his interpretation of what Paul said to, to, to this one and what Paul spoke to the church and what the church said to this. Like when we break down these interpretations, this is coming from the pastor's uh, a theology degree and reading this stuff and breaking it down from what he interpreted and he understood that and he regurgitates it to to the to a mass amount of people who then uh, absorb that because again Sodom and Gomorrah was not destroyed because of homosexuality. I've been beaten down with that all of my life from nigga from bitches in my family bitches and niggas in my family that was fucking one another and we were related to each other and they were cousins and shit fucking one another. And so I've been hearing majority of my life that, that Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because, and I and I'm, shouldn't be a fag because I'm going to hell because Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed over faggotry. And I've been hearing this because Big Mama and Big Mama's Big Mama sent it down to two to three motherfuckers that done passed that shit all the way over to another motherfucker that told me something while they over there fucking 60 bitches and they ain't married to near one of them. So, of course, I have questions and I'm going to look up things because this is the, this is these are the, the cards that have been dealt to me. So, of course, I'm going to have questions and I'm going to have, you know, stuff like this in my brain. I'm going to want to know. I'm going to I'm going to try to understand, like, why am I a fag? If you knew the hairs on my head, if you knew what I was going to be conceived before I came out of the womb, why am I a fucking fag? Forty six years old. Why am I a fag? Why I don't like girls like Mo do. Or why I don't like motherfucking girls like the rest of the motherfucking people around me that's men do. So again, majority of my life, I have heard them talk about Sodom and Gomorrah. So I went to find out for myself. I went to go for myself to find out what it is. What was the reasoning? And after I've read it, and I have, it has been translated, and I've, I've interpreted it numerous times, it was because of them, you know, having much and, and not being hospitable, having a surplus of everything, and everybody around the city was suffering. Then God sent those angels there to... To go, to go check out the city, and the men wanted to know them like they know a woman. Now, when I, when I, that's the, yeah, they did, but come on, Mo, here we go. Lot offered his daughters for those men to fuck off and run through. So, you mean to tell me that we didn't find any sin or any. We justified that. We didn't see anything wrong with that. We only seen the men wanting to know the angels, from my understanding. We wanted them to know them. But we didn't see anything wrong with Lot offering up his daughters for him for them to be ravished by these men like they were nothing. So women were nothing enough to just give to a, a mob of men to fuck on. Well, thank you, Ink 2020. So, you know, I'm over there with like, mm, uh, no. It's saying something ain't, ain't clean here. Something is not computing here to me. So after I did more research and I, I did more 
of the situation. I was like, oh, okay. So they wanted to dominate those. It was a, it was about dominance. It was about them. It wasn't sexual. It, it really wasn't. It really wasn't sexual. Because here's the thing. A lot of times, and niggas in jail. Yeah. A lot of times, when niggas come to jail, they will fuck a nigga to break him. And it has nothing to do with them being sexually attracted to them or that's their sexual orientation. It's to dominate this person. It had any, and it has nothing to do with them being homosexual. So, no, that does not make them gay, Gene Marie. Let's, we're not doing that. It does not make them homosexual. It just does not make them homosexual. It makes them try to motherfuck. I watched, uh, what's the name of that movie, that show? With, uh, Which show? On FX, with, with uh, Forrest Whitaker. Um, he had that big dick nigga to come in there and, and bust them niggas down. He had that big nigga, big dick ass nigga come in there and fuck them niggas until they shit was leaking. And because it, it was about that, it was about him being no fucking homosexual, not son of Anna, Godfather. That's what it is. So I just be like, mm. so that's what it was about. Okay, because how did we miss that Lot was ready to give his daughters over to a slew of niggas to fuck his kid, his daughters? How did we not, how did we miss that? And was that of God? Hmm. Nobody don't want to have this type of discussion with me because I'm going to be sitting over there like, um, I, got, I have questions. I have many questions. Many, 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 many motherfucking questions. You're not going to just tell me what Big Mama said and I'm going to be like, well, yep. And a lot of these bitches that be talking that crazy shit ain't, ain't read two words of the scripture. Ain't read two words of the scripture for any type of self-interpretation. None of it. And just to also think about what you're saying, when um, I, I don't remember who said it, but they were saying, doesn't that make them gay? For example, we talked about the guy on your show before about uh, what's his name? The uh, the guy that was in prison that used to, they said uh, the the booty monster or whatever they used to call him that mm -hmm. told his wife that, mm -hmm. look, I just like, just like what I like, but. I'm always going to love you. I'm attracted to you. I want to be with you. It was just that he was in jail and that was available to him. So it's, it's not that he's, it's not, not all the time is about them being sexually attracted. It's about, like you said, it's about dominance. It's about showing um, power. Yes. Power. It's about exerting that. Yeah. Like in Roman times, what they used to do with their, their gladiators, they used to break. That's how they used to break them in slaves. That's how they used to break. I remember them. when I was younger. And there and there were older boys over me that were older than me, used to taunt me, right? And they would taunt me, and they would and they would be like, "Why you a, why you a, why you why you a girl, why you a, uh, why you move like that, why you, why you ain't like us, suck our dick, suck it." And it's like, what? What's going on here? I don't think that any of those men were homosexual. I don't think any of them were. I think it was it was them trying to, because neither they they weren't doing it to each other. It was me, and it was very much so from the space of you a uh, you is softer than us. So, bitch, we going we gonna rule over you in this in this. So I don't think it was ever about 
being homosexual. I think it was about dominating the situation, asserting that in this space, like, bitch, you gone. Bitch, why are you? Why are you? Why are you do this? Why are you move this way? Why? It, I don't think it, it had anything to do with attraction. I think it, it had to do with control. Like I'm more. Like I got. I I'm not more powerful. You softer than me. Right. You're inferior to me. To me, basically, yes, that's it. In, inferiority. Somebody asked me, did I do it? Of course. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Really? I wasn't going to get beat up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, they would have had to beat me up. Oh, well, honey, you wasn't, you, you wasn't, as, you're not a woman. <laughs> I was, I've always been a woman. <laughs> I've always been a woman honey, <laughs> amongst men. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just talking about. I've you. always been a woman amongst but men. I'm not talking I've about, always been I'm, a woman but amongst we're men. We're talking about guys, we're talking about guys that want to insert I'm, dominance. If they if well, of course, well, of me, course, well, you, it, it wasn't going to happen to you because you did. You're not you. You're Mo. You don't have any femme ways about you. You're not femme. Just like you're not that young. You're not femme. But right, but you're ready. <laughs> But you, but you're ready. You may be young, but you're ready. <laughs> you know, so you're not, you're not, you're not femme. Which it's femme has always been over me, and so therefore, you're not going to experience that. There are things that you, as a man, would never experience. It's me as a girl, as a fucking goddamn f p h a g. <laughs> you're not going to do that. You know. Anyway, we don't come to this two thirty three two hours thirty minutes. We go it's, well, you gotta be somewhere eight. I'm always keeping you. I'm always keeping you. You know. Anyway, I want you guys to understand. I love you guys. I thank you guys for the birthday wishes. Thank y'all for the flowers that came. Thank y'all for the party. Thank y'all for look oh, oh no. It, as long as it don't spill a lot. Oh, hmm. the cleaner man. Now that's a work here. He comes out the oh yeah. The reason I know so much about him is because he cleaned up an old man of mine. <laughs> the clean up woman. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank y'all for the birthday wishes. I'm celebrating all week, so y'all may see some more pictures come out from the picture from my um, uh, pictures uh, shoot. So y'all gonna see some more. Um, we'll pick this stuff up sometime in the week. I want to be busy this week, uh, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be busy month of November, very busy. But I love y'all. I see y'all on Instagram and shit like that. Um, and um, I'll talk with y'all later on. Mo got to get out of here. Mo, you know, it ain't going to take you 15 minutes to get where you're going. Yeah, I'm just going uh, don't tell your business. Tell me, though. Tell me. I love you guys. I love you very, very, very much. And make sure you're shopping at um, Skin Potion. We'll see you this week. Thanks for the happy birthday. I love you. Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Come and take these tears away
I need your arms to hold me now. The knives are so ungone. Bring back those knives when I held you beside me. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo this. Hurt your cows when you are And walk down my life. Unbreak these tears. I cry so many. Man, I'm in my heart, my heart. <laughs> this has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is, right there. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, Love. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye.